You may have seen all the circular bruise-like marks on the athletes of Rio or even here at the gym. The marks are the result of cupping therapy, which is an ancient practice used in traditional Chinese medicine to ease pain, loosen tension, and help promote healing. Modern cupping uses a suction force applied to plastic or glass cupping to increase circulation to an area. I prefer the glass cups with flame to, because it has the added benefit of warmth. We run the flame through the cup and apply it to the skin to get the vacuum force. In areas of pain or injury, there's often decreased movement, which leads to a decrease in circulation. By applying the cup to that area, the vacuum force lifts the skin and underlying soft tissue so that new blood is brought to the area, and with that, byproducts such as lactic acid can be cleared away. The suction effect has the added benefit of physically stretching the underlying muscle tissue. Sliding the cups back and forth like this help break up small fascial adhesions within the fascial layers so that the layers of tissue can move more smoothly in relation to one another. Cupping is excellent for relieving back, neck, and shoulder tension, but it can also help with knee and hip pain by loosening the IT band. Although it's predominantly used for muscle tension and pain, it can also be used for some types of paralysis or nerve conditions. Cupping is also useful for supporting the lungs with cough and asthma and can help the lungs in expelling phlegm. As with other treatments used in traditional Chinese medicine, cupping has very few side effects other than the obvious marks left behind. Most people feel relaxed and enjoy the massaging or stretching sensation they get from it.